Kaylin, you touch on some of the issues that the NWSL has, has faced, and obviously these are all coming to light now. Are you surprised at all with any of the findings that uh, <laughs> you've seen? And um, what do you think the, the course of action may actually be now? I think for me, and wh- this is the saddest part, is it wasn't shocking. Like the verbal abuse, I mean, I was I was part of that. Now, the sexual abuse on the outside of it, some I never knew about that, which honestly breaks my heart, which makes me th- think, was I a bad teammate to not ask the questions? Was I a bad teammate to maybe miss the signs? Um, so I think for me, that was the one thing that I look back on my playing career as a young player and getting traded to so many teams and asking for trades because of those reasons of the verbal abuse. Um, I wish I would have been a better teammate to maybe ask the questions, but to my teammates of how can I help? But I just genuinely didn't know, which again, I mean, I played in Portland under Paul Riley. I didn't know about any of it, which makes you feel like a really shitty teammate. If I'm being completely honest, because I was friends with a lot of these girls. Um, Mm -hmm. But then also the findings, it's super sad. Like it's 2022. We live in America. Like how is this continuing to happen? So it's, it's from above. Now you look at what's going on in Portland. I will be shocked if Merritt doesn't have to sell the team. Genuinely shocked. I would be shocked if any players wanted to go and play for someone that owned a team like that. Now, you know, you look at Portland and you look at the fan base and you look at what they've created there, which is incredible. It's one of the atmospheres that I loved playing in the most. It was sold out stadium week after week for women back then was incredible. But I just think, you know, these women spoke up and no one listened. And now the only reason why people are speaking up is because they got caught, which is a really sad world that we live in. And I feel... Mm -hmm horrible for these women that have had to suffer through this for so many years and to had to retire like a lot of these women retired because they spoke up and nothing was done which literally breaks your heart and now me obviously as a mama two baby boys i hope and i teach my boys this to treat women with respect if a woman comes to you and my boys are only four and two and we still have that conversation treat others how you want to be treated And listen, when a woman is talking, listen to them. So I don't know. It's just, it's sickening. It like breaks my heart. It breaks my heart for these women that have had to endure this pain that have left the league and are playing overseas now. But I also have to, you know, clap my hands for them that they're speaking Mm. on these tough situations and they're speaking on what happened to them because a lot of these people are now married. They have kids of their own. And I don't know if I would have, I would be brave enough to speak up as now a mom with two kids. If it happened, you put yourself in a situation that these women have and they've spoken up when, you know, their, their sons or daughters are going to read this in years to come and ask the tough questions. And how freaking brave is that? I mean, you know, to be these not only role models to their kids, to their husbands, to their communities, but now to be role models to their kids to be like, you know what, this was wrong. I spoke up about it and I'm willing to have the tough conversations and to put my neck out there to, you know, maybe lose a job because it wasn't right. And they shouldn't have lost their job. These men should be losing their job. These men should not be anywhere near athletes, women, sports anything some of them should be in prison quite frankly if i'm being completely honest which is like it's just it's shocking it's shocking that it took this many years um for it to come to this and what's just a point as well you're fighting against so many other things and barriers in the women's game and trying to build it and you have this shite you know it just it just drives you crazy it's terrible but we'll get there i guess in the end